This video is sponsored by, oh wait, no it's not, gotcha. Hey, what's going on guys, Bo HD here, I gotta keep you guessing. Uh, Google has released the full to developer preview of Android N for Select Nexus devices. Now there's not a lot of big changes in this dev preview, but I feel like uh, I just wanna share the changes that are here with you uh, because we have covered the past dev previews. Um, plus I just kinda wanna get you guys hyped about Android N, which is gonna be officially launching here in the coming months. So I have the fourth dev preview running on my Nexus 6P. You'll see that if we head into the settings and tap on Android N to activate the Easter egg, we'll see an N with the words Namey Mook Nameface. Google is trolling the heck out of us because they've uh, put the ball in our court, essentially letting us Android users pick the name of the next version of Android N, or at the very least, suggest a name. We'll see what they end up going with later this summer, but it's not gonna be Namey Mook Nameface. Well, there's always that possibility, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be that. Google did, however, unofficially confirm the next number version of Android in this dev preview. If we make our way to developer options and turn on demo mode and show demo mode, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, the clock is a seven. It's seven o'clock. This correlates to the number of Android, Android 7.0 N, whatever N is. Previously in the dev preview of Android Marshmallow, the clock read six o'clock, uh, which translates to Android 6.0. So Android N is likely not going to be Android 6.1 N. It's gonna have its own number. So we've seen the quick reply feature in the past dev preview, but it continues to get better and better, and it continues to work with more apps. For example, if you receive a direct message via Twitter, you can send a quick reply straight from the notification panel itself. And this works with other apps, not just Twitter, um, but there's no need to open up the app itself. It just works buttery smooth. You even get a nice material design animation. How about that? In addition, we'll find that many more bugs have been squashed in this update. Uh, specifically, we'll see that the multitasking or overview tray, uh, it just performs much better, much smoother. So you can press and hold on an app to toggle the split screen functionality. You just drag and drop one app to one side of the screen um, and it works just like that. You can multitask just like that. I gotta say, this feature works so much better than it did in the, in the past updates. It's a lot less buggy. Uh, most of the bugs are from the apps themselves. Once developers officially add split screen support, the feature should run even better. Um, but the last thing worth mentioning, it's not a feature. They actually removed the calculator quick settings tile. Not sure why, but they did. Now I do wanna mention a couple things that I can't really show you in video, which is why we're just gonna talk here. Um, now with the fourth developer preview of Android N, Google has included the Android N final SDK with final APIs. So what this means is developers can start working on apps for Android N and they will be ready to go on day one of the official Android N launch. Uh, they don't have to risk uh, you know, Google making any changes. Their apps will be ready to go. The other thing worth mentioning is the fact that Google has removed support for pressure sensitive screens. Uh, launcher shortcuts was Google's answer to 3D Touch, uh, but apparently Google's plans have changed as they've just completely removed the launcher shortcuts APIs. So um, you know, I'm optimistic they have something better in mind but we're just gonna have to wait and see. With that said, those are all the features of the fourth developer preview of Android N. Not the most exciting preview, but hey, what is exciting is the fact that the consumer launch of Android N, the official version, is gonna be launching later this summer. So if you're excited for Android N, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for more Android N, or just Android coverage in general, um, and uh, let me know in a comment down below your thoughts on Android N. What do you like? What do you dislike? Let me know, let everyone know in the comment below. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya. I really should stop drinking coffee. Bum, bum, bum.